Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these twisted candles. These are great for room decor and yeah, let's get started. So first you want to get a bucket or your sink and you want to just fill it up with hot water. The temperature of the hot water shouldn't be too hot but it shouldn't be like warm. If it's just like warm then it's not going to do anything to your candle. It's not going to bend well but if it's too hot it may just be too bendable and it's just going to make your process of twisting these candles a lot harder. So you want to make sure to find that perfect temperature. After filling your sink or your bucket full of hot water, you're just gonna let it sit for around 10 minutes. After around 8 to 10 minutes, you should be able to bend your candle. For this candle, I'm going to be actually making a knot candle out of these taper candles, which is pretty exciting. I wanted these knot candles, but you know, I didn't want to pay like $14 or like 20, 20 bucks for these not candles so I decided to make one out of these paper candles these long candles so yeah I'm gonna be making these not candles you can make other designs there are a lot of other cool and pretty designs I will put up some photos of those candles here so that you can get some inspiration on what you should twist your candles to and a tip on bending these candles you want to make sure that you're bending your candles in the water and not in the air because if you bend them in the water it will keep its temperature and you should be able to bend it a lot easier and it will reduce the chance of breaking your candles because if you bend your candles in the air it's going to probably cool and it's probably gonna harden pretty quickly so then if you try to bend it in the air then it's gonna probably break and you don't want to waste your candle so yeah so i'm just making the shape of it and i'm trying to make it stand and for this one it didn't really stand properly so yeah i continued molding it and adjusting the, the candle and yeah And if you want your candles to like stand, another tip is just like push it down onto the ground or for me, like press it down onto the sink, on the bottom of the sink. It'll kind of get that flat end um, so I can stand properly. So I've created my candle and now I'm just rinsing the candle with some cold water so that it will harden. This just helps um, it keep its shape and it if it cool if you use some cold water it's gonna cool down a lot easier and harden a lot faster so yeah and here is the finished product i also made these other two candles and they look adorable and so aesthetic they're great for room decor and here's the one that i made right now and this is another candle that i made like i just said this one kind of looks like an elephant but it's another like squiggly design i guess and there's also this wandy kind of swirly candle and by the way i didn't i did not carve the bottom straight so it's very wonky so it kind of falls down easily but here's a wand and sw swirly 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 one and i really love this candle lantern that i got from an h m and if you're wondering i actually got these taper candles these long candles um on h m and these are very bendable, so I would definitely recommend these H&M candles. And yeah, I also love this candle lantern, by the way. It's so pretty and adorable. You can also use it as a tea light candle, tea light holder, but I use it for tapered candles. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had such a fun time making these toasted candles, so I hope you guys can make them as well. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!